Before we start, here are some ASL words that go along with our story, brought to you by Mrs. DiOrio. Unicorn, make an R with the hand you write with and put it on your forehead and that's the sign for unicorn. Scribble, pretend like you're holding on to that marker or crayon and go all over the place and that's the sign for scribble. Pink, make a number two with the hand you write with and put your thumb in between. You're gonna flip your hand down, that's the letter P in American Sign Language. Your middle finger is gonna to touch your chin and you're gonna bring it down. Pink, pink. Crayon, make a number five with the hand you write with. Put it on your chin, wiggle your fingers back and forth. That's a sign for color. Take your index finger and your thumb, like you're holding onto a pencil. The hand you don't write with becomes your piece of paper. That is the sign for write. When you put them together, color and write, you have the sign crayon. Never Let a Unicorn Scribble, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. I recently got a pet unicorn. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows, so why can't they scribble? I thought if I gave her just one crayon, what could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you, she ate it. Now, my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling to the belly of my unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble. Because they eat crayons. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how crayons worked, I thought I would give her another chance to scribble. I took out a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her. And she ate half of it. Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized a unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that was why she was eating them. I had an idea. Maybe if I tied a few crayons to her horn, that would help her scribble. Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now. But I don't think this is what she had in mind. Then I heard a noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped out of my room and I blocked the door. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble. But I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. Then I tried to teach her to scribble but then she ate another crayon. So I tied the crayons to her horn and boy was that horn magical. The scribble started shooting out like water fountain and they were so sparkly, but it made such a mess and I'm sorry. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right 
on my easel. Not on the ceiling, not on the walls, not on my lamp. They were all on one big piece of paper, and it was the most amazing art ever. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It could be because they eat crayons, or because it's so messy. But if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would have never learned how to make this masterpiece. So, the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all great art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. The end.